All right, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump in trouble because of what he had to say. And Miranda Khan now joins me with more on Trump's statement about Judge Gonzalo Curiel. Miranda? Steve, just a few hours ago, Trump released an official statement claiming his comments have been misconstrued, saying, quote, I do not feel that one's heritage makes him incapable of being impartial, but based on the rulings that I have received in the Trump University civil case, I feel justified in questioning whether I am receiving a fair trial. Meanwhile, I Trump disavow is a these Republican comments. I regret those comments that he made. I don't think claiming a person can't do the job because of their race is sort of like the textbook definition of a racist comment. I think that should be absolutely disavowed. It's absolutely unacceptable. But do I believe that Hillary Clinton is the answer? No, I do not. For the second time in less than a week, House Speaker Paul Ryan publicly condemning Donald Trump and his comments about Mexican-American judge Gonzalo Curiel. He's a Mexican. We're building a wall between here and Mexico. Paul Ryan's latest rebuttal of Trump follows a predictable pile-on by elites in Washington and the media. Can I just do a poll, Nicole? Is that racism? Yes. Okay. It's Joe, completely is racist. Is that racism? It's completely racist. Uh, Reverend now, is that racism? Oh, it's absolutely unequivocal okay, racism. It's a predictable template used before by Trump's adversaries without much success. During the primary, Trump managed to spend similar events and to bumps in the polls. But now the nation is pivoting towards a general election contest. He's treated me in a hostile manner. Trump has urged his surrogates to keep up the fight. And while Paul Ryan calls Trump's comments indefensible, former attorney Alberto Gonzalez has defended Trump's right to rise concerns about bias, while also acknowledging Trump's ethnicity-based argument wasn't ideal. Also, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. And Donald Trump is not a racist. Defended Trump while adding that ultimately this won't factor into voters' final decision come November. That is, unless this controversy proves to be the exception to the rule of Trump over the media. The fact is that the media loves controversy. The media loves to pay attention to this stuff and to, and to work it up. Well, House Speaker Paul Ryan says he's still endorsing Donald Trump. Senator Mark Kirk of Illinois has decided to withdraw his support, saying that Trump does not have the temperament to command. Steve, back to you. Yeah, well, uh, again, it, it, Donald Trump, I think Miranda, has, has blown an opportunity here to express himself well, and uh, that's going to be problematic. Uh, if he had, even, even Bill Richardson said, if he had politicized this and said, hey, this judge awarded this case to a law firm that gave $680,000 to mm -hmm. the Clintons to speak, and at the same time, he's a member of this La Raza Lawyers Association, which is linked on the La Raza website, that would have been different than saying, he's Mexican and I'm building a wall. Right. Right. I think he definitely misspoke. Yep. Yep. All right. Let's get to the phones. Miranda, folks, we want to know what you think. 877-NEWSMEX, 877-639-7629. And first up is Scott from Belleville, Kansas. Hello, Scott. Yeah, I talked to you on Friday, I think. Yes. I'm a four, four Purple Heart vet and also received the Silver Star in Vietnam. And I want to tell you that the Republican Party are trying to be these do-good people. And... There was nothing racist at all about Trump's comment. The guy belongs to four Latino, Latino organizations. There are some of them are anti-American. But Scott, and Scott, here's the problem, Scott, and, and I, and I want to hear what Miranda has to say. I mean, here's the problem. Donald Trump did not say that in interviews. You, you mm -hmm. can't expect every, right. the people out there to know it. It's incumbent upon Donald Trump to say just what you said, if that's what he believes. Not he's Mexican and I'm building a wall. Because Scott, look, there's no bigger supporter of Trump than me and nobody's more critical of the, the administration, the, the, uh, the status quo Republicans than me. But Miranda, he just didn't, as we had said earlier, he just didn't say that. He didn't. And unfortunately, you know, we can say that we think a woman's better fitted when it comes to certain things if it comes off as positive. But if we say it in a negative connotation, it doesn't work the same way. But he did misspeak. He should have talked more about the law firm that you had mentioned that he was affiliated with. That he should have talked about the fact that President Obama appointed him to the federal bench. And these are things that he should have addressed and he just did it the wrong way. Yes, yeah, Scott, I mean, you got to hold, look, you got to hold Donald's feet to the fire here. Do you agree? No. Not at all. That's why he's got more more people voting for him forever, because he talked like just a regular American. 
I wouldn't have thought to say he belongs to four Latino organizations. I just said he's Hispanic, and he's probably against me. But the Republican Party has to stand together. The Democrat Party is voting for Hillary Clinton, a person that took her emails and, and put them out there for everybody to see and put our country in danger. Right. And Bill Richardson's going to vote for it. No, Scott, I, I, Scott, first of all, God bless you for your services. I hope I said on Friday. Thank you for calling. But, but here's the deal. The deal is not only it's, it's not enough to have Donald Trump the candidate who's not afraid to take on the media and call out the media and go after the media like no other presidential candidate ever has. He also has to understand that this double standard exists and at the same time, he has to be mm -hmm. able to, to combat it. He knows that they're not going to bring up Hillary and that university that Bill, and Bill is involved with. And they're not going to bring up the FBI investigation. And they're not going to bring up a million things. So he has to do it. And he has to be prepared for the double standard, uh, Miranda. I, otherwise, it's, it's no use blasting the media. I 100% I agree with you. Yep. All right, Pauline from Santa Barbara County, California, where I believe they're having a little primary today. Hello, Pauline. Yes. Hi, Steve. How are you? Thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. <laughs> Listen, um, I uh, voted for Trump in the primary, and uh, I'm going to vote for him in the um, general election. Very good. What do you think about this? And, whole uh, I, the, and I disagree with the ha way he handled this thing with the judge, but um, uh, I forgive him because... Being a Californian, I have met a lot of legal aliens, and they hate Americanism. They don't love America. They uh, don't care about the American flag. They like socialism, and that's why the Democratic Party has won them over in California. And one important point I wanted to make is that being a native of Californian, and I have lived in this state for many decades, I remember when, it, when California was America. The Democrats have destroyed California. They have driven American citizens out of their own state. They have driven jobs and businesses out of the state of California. And they have influxed these illegal aliens, which you see protesting at these Trump rallies. That's who these Democrats love. This is the America they want, which is not America at all. You're, you're and right. that's why I, I urge everybody to vote for Trump. Please uh, vote right. for Trump. But, but Pauline... Pauline, Miranda has something but for Pauline, you. But Pauline, let me, I, I do, I have a question for you, though. Why would they come to this country if they hate this country so much? I, d you I just want to hear what you talk, have to say. I have talked to illegal aliens. I, you just know when they're illegal. And they, I, I talked to them about American patriotism and the American flag and what America stands for, freedom, liberty, and the pursuit of individual happiness. And they say, no, I like socialism. Miranda, you look know? at the flags that are burned by these Mexicans who protested and, and committed violence outside of, of the Trump rally. I'm not saying they were all Mexican, but the Mexican flag was being bandied about and the American flag burned. La Raza means the race. There are many groups like that that believe that, me that California and m much of the United States belongs to Mexico. So a lot of them come here with that, that in mind. Not all of them, not most of them, but a lot of them do. All right, uh, Pauline, thank you, for, thank you very much. I want to get to Mary. Go ahead. Mary oh, go, ahead, go ahead, Miranda. I'm sorry. Oh, no, I was just I was curious what she thought about Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger, who who was the governor of California, what she thought about how he was running things, because he also appointed the same judge. Right, right. Uh, OK, well, let's go to Mary Rose, who's not in California, but she's in Illinois, wrote Milrose Park. Hello, okay. Mary Rose. Hi, Steve. Hi, Miranda. Hi, Hi there. How are you? Good. How are you? Um, I Wonderful. think with Donald Trump, it's a double standard. Okay, he's not establishment. Mm -hmm. These re establishment Republicans, like Ryan, and you know, making their statements. I really don't think it has any effect on the way people vote. I'm for Trump 100 percent. I don't, you know, I'll vote for him. What he said about this judge. He said it the way any person would say it, and maybe he didn't say it the way they wanted him to say it. Yeah, but, 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 but I just got to say, Mary, we got to go, but, but he's had ample opportunity a week to, to add to it and correct it and make it, broad, broaden it out, and he didn't, and that's a mistake. Thank you, and thank you, Miranda Khan. Good to talk to you. David Horowitz is next, and he has more information on the judge.